Hello, Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me again. And thank you so very much to my Cancer friends out there. I really do appreciate the comments that you sent through with the last readings. I love you guys. Thank you so very much. Now, this week, Cancer, from Le Vampire, you pulled Discipline, Training, Consistency, and Practice. And from Chakra Wisdom, you pulled Despondence. Discipline from Le Vampire is saying that now it's time for you to create a program of change in your life and stick to it. You have to get rid of self-doubt and need to be clear on what you are doing and what you're putting your actions into and stick to your commitments. But I think with despondence, some of you guys are having a hard time doing that. The, the inspiration for this one says that this card teaches us that the only route out of stagnation is motion. If we do nothing, we must accept the consequences. The question here is about asking yourself, where in your life are you feeling immobilized? The key ideas are feeling helpless, acceptance of circumstances, changes on the horizon, and it's a need to take action. When you look at the card at a glance, though, this was the kicker for me. The card may indicate an emotional tie that no longer serves you. Remember, how you relate to an issue is the issue. Obstacles are removed when you change your relationship to them. So just looking at the two of them and reading the descriptions for both again, I know discipline very well. Despondence I've not seen very often, but when the two of them show up, it's like the universe is trying to tell you, you have to start taking action. If you want things to change in your life and you don't want to be stuck with situations that you're unhappy with, you got to take action, right? And you have to stick to the commitments that you set for yourself. All right, Cancer, here we go. Here's the energy coming through. Cancer, damn it, damn it. Seeing the Five of Cups as a signifier is saying that for some of you, you are really hanging on to some emotional difficulties. Some of you may be feeling a little depressed. Looking at the Five of Cups, the focus seems to be on what's lost, what's hurting you, the pain, the emotional pain. You know, the advice with this card has always been that not all is lost. You're supposed to be building on what you still have, but it can be hard to do when you're feeling that kind of emotional pain. And in the past, the Ten of Pentacles. Now, I, you know, I have to wonder if this doesn't have to do with unhappiness in the home. When you look at the Ten of Pentacles traditionally, you're seeing, you know, the older couple and or the older person and they're looking at the younger people and, you know, there's this feeling of like passing on what you have to the next generation. So it really does speak about family ties and the foundation that you lay within that system. Immediately, it's like there's some hurt feelings surrounding the home, the home life. But the 10 coming through is suggesting too that there is some financial stability here. For some of you, you may have suffered a loss in finances or feeling some difficulty in that, but I'm seeing emotional pain involving family, the home life. The Six of Cups and present conditions. You know, it, if you're looking at the past and you're looking at the Ten of Pentacles and you're looking at that strong foundation and you're wanting that to return in the present moment, that's great. But I'm looking at the emotional connection to it. I've always said with the Six of Cups, you know, it being the card in nostalgia, when we look at the past, we're bringing it into the present moment. And when we do that, that is what we end up creating tomorrow. It's so important with the Six of Cups that you don't allow yourself to stay stagnant in the past, wanting the past to be returned or wanting to stay stuck with that feeling of, you know, the best of everything is gone now. You know what I mean? I would be careful here, but this is suggesting that some of you may be stuck with some past feelings or wanting like the past to be returned. Some of you may have had some really difficult childhoods too, seeing that. You know, the whole point there is to restore harmony, right? But we, the other thing is, you know, I'm, I'm trying to spit this out. When we look at memories, they're not actually accurate. 
we remember things the way that we see them, right? When it comes to like with readers, for example, sometimes some resonate with you, some don't. It's because everybody, and not just readers, this is everybody. We have our own perspective on things. And that's what we do to our memories. We, we put a spin on them. You got to be careful here about how you're looking at the past and allowing yourself to stay stuck in it. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because of that five of cups sitting right next to it. Future conditions, man, cancer. Whew. I would be careful with judgment again, because of the five of cups being there. You know, this is a time for you to start doing some healing judgment. You know, it, it scares me a little bit. It's not a bad card. But, you know, for me, I look at the, the review. It, this is the review, the review of the past, right? And you have to be careful about the judgments that you're passing on your, yourself, the situation, other people. But there's a feeling here of, I think, some of you needing to dig up the past, look at it, learn from it, and move on because rebirth follows this, you know? And again, again, the call to action right? Instead of allowing yourself to stay stuck in the past, I think a lot of you are going to snap out of it. But the problem is, is your emotional attachments to it that have to be looked at. And, you know, for some of you, it's difficulties in the home. Your best path to follow the King of Wands. Now, seeing that as the best path to follow, I don't really see this as a person coming through. For some of you, this may be you dealing with a fire sign, but I really feel like, you know, this person is put in a positive light because this position right here has always been spirit's advice to you. The king of wands, though, when you're looking at it as an energy to follow, this is speaking about wisdom. It's speaking about enthusiasm and action, getting up and following your passions, but being wise about what it is that you're following. And, you know, I have to wonder if some of you have things that like you're wanting to do here, looking at discipline, there's things that you may be wanting to start, things you're wanting to learn, whatever it is there, it's like, for some reason, it's not happening for you. It's almost like, you know, I, I get the feeling here that when you look at your past, you're thinking about, you know, when you were a child, right? all the things that you wanted to do, but there could be some emotional pain because they weren't realized. But there's a need for you to start doing it, right? I mean, it's never too late. It's never too late to start following your passions and doing what you want, you know? And again, you know, for some of you, you may be dealing with somebody from the past coming through as well that may be like lighting that fire under your ass. Like, let's go now. Let's start taking some action here. In your environment, the Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, this to me is saying that there is a willingness here for you to start taking some action. The Eight of Pentacles is busting your ass. It's working hard. And seeing that with the Ten of Pentacles, yeah, financially, fantastic. But if you do nothing, you're not going to see the results. I really do think that the, the big time message here is that you need to stop allowing yourself to be stuck in this view of the past. It's time to start taking action now and following your passions, right? Because it's in your environment. The willingness here to start working towards these things is here. It's just that for some reason, some of you are choosing to not take any action and just stay stuck with, you know, well, what can I do? That was the past. There's no reason why you can't start doing the things that you want right now. You know, your hopes and your fears. And yeah, yeah, when you start taking action, you will start to feel that sense of victory. The Six of Wands. When I'm looking at it this way, and you take away the focus on the emotional junk, right? You could definitely have somebody from the past coming through that is recognizing you again. But seeing that there is victory over adversity, this is where, you know, it's short-lived with the Six of Wands. This kind of feeling of victory is short-lived. It's temporary. It, you have to get back into continuing to work after your goals. But having it in your hopes and fears is saying that when you do start working 
toward the things that you're wanting rather than being stuck with what didn't work out in the past, you will have that feeling of victory. I just don't like that the focus is on the Five of Cups and some emotional pain. And the outcome, the Ten of Cups, perfect. It's perfect. Listen, Cancer, I'm serious here. <laughs> when you start putting in the action toward the things that you want to do and get yourself out of, you know, being stuck with the past, you will have happiness. Look at the Tens. Perfect. They're perfect. The best Tens you can be pulling here. You have the security and you have happiness, happiness. And I think for a lot of you, you're wanting that return to you. For some reason, there's like a bump in the road here. And it, I think it has to do with the past for some of you, some pain in the past. When you start to get your focus away from that and you start, you know, reviewing this the right way and you start taking action here and start busting your ass, you're going to start feeling that sense of victory and you're going to have emotional happiness, Cancer. It's it's different. It's different. I know a lot of you were like waiting to hear. You were waiting to hear something back. And I think, you know, your thoughts just kind of ran away with you and now there's the emotional attachment. But you, you can change this. You can change this for yourself. All right, Cancer. We're going to take a look at soul trees to see what other messages there are for you guys. But I like the way that this reading is ending here because this is really talking about what you start doing to change this. Instead of staying focused on this, it's like you, you change things, you know, and it may be happening like later on in the week here where you get out of this feeling of like, you know, not wanting to do anything, just wanting to be stuck, stuck with the same old, same old and the same old emotional depression and blah feelings. It's like you change and things start shifting for you, but you have to put in the effort, right? And I do still think that that King of Wands may be somebody coming through here from the past that may help, you know, bring you some happiness too. But this is definitely about you following your passions for sure with wisdom wisdom and release release those hurt feelings you gotta release those emotional ties to situations from the past release the negative so that you can start taking action and honor yourself honor uh, honor yourself is really talking about not allowing yourself to stay stuck in that kind of depression it, it's difficult but you will find happiness once you start taking action all right, Cancer, we're going to take a look at the Romance Angels to see what is going on with you guys in love. But I really do feel like I'm connecting with somebody here that's just feeling blah. You're feeling blah, not really wanting to do anything. You're stuck in thoughts of the past. There may be some emotional pain involving the home, but by your own efforts here, things will start to change. Getting to know each other and flirt. That's beautiful, but you got to take action. <laughs> Getting to know each other, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And then flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. For those of you who are single right now and you're dealing with difficulties, with painful past memories that you're facing down now with judgment and starting to find your own happiness through your own efforts here. If you're meeting somebody new, it's so important to get to know the other person before you make any judgments on them. You need to get to know them first and extend that lighthearted energy. If you start to feel better out of the emotional difficulties and you're meeting somebody new, that's like a welcome distraction. <laughs> Chemistry, there's a strong mag magnetic attraction here and it's beautiful. If you are in a relationship and you are happy and you're just dealing with some emotional difficulties right now, that chemistry between you and your partner is what's going to help you do some healing and finding some of, some of that domestic bliss and happiness that you do deserve. I like it. I just worry about where your emotions are right now and there needs to take there needs to be action here. You need to take action and take your focus away from the emotional pain that may be attached to the past. You know, and start making making those judgments that are going to lead you into taking action to correct things where you start to feel that sense of victory and that happiness, that happiness, so important. 
All right, Cancer, so the big time theme here seems to be taking action, needing to take action and not allowing yourself to be despondent. And I think for a lot of you, it's because there are emotional difficulties that are like surfacing right now. And I feel like it has to do with the past, some past emotional difficulties that some of you guys are facing. But the problem is, is with the past being in your present moment and the focus being here, it's like there's a need to start changing that because these are the things that will continue to manifest if you place your focus on them, right? But I think you do start changing. And I think it's going to be later on in the week here because seeing judgment and then seeing the Eight of Pentacles and seeing victory and then the Ten of Cups, things start to shift for you. But it's going to be through the way that you're looking at the past, judgment being future conditions, I think for some of you, you're going to get tired of being stuck in that emotional blah feeling and that depressed feeling, and you're going to start looking at the past differently and doing that review. But there again is the call to action, action, needing to take action. And again, the eight of pentacles, you, you've got to start putting in the effort here and with discipline too, so that, you know, you can start seeing that happiness. I think for some of you, I, I'm looking at discipline and I'm going... This is somebody who is wanting to do something, but it's like, it's depressing because it's not happening, right? And you're like looking at the past going, you know, I could have done this in the past, but now it's too late. The King of Wands is saying bullshit. It's never too late to start following your passions. Discipline is saying that, again, if you put forth the effort here, you can attain happiness. And it came out for you. I mean... Emotional happiness, it's so important. It's so important. I just think for right now, some of you are having emotional difficulties that you're going to be reviewing later on. You're going to be dealing with them. But seeing the Ten of Cups come out and seeing the Ten of Pentacles, you're going to find your happiness again. It's just going to take a little bit of time, but it's going to be through the action that you put through. But definitely there's a need here for you to honor yourself, honor yourself and release those emotional difficulties because you can't keep placing your focus on that and expect things to change, right? A little bit harsh. There's a little bit of preaching going on here, I feel like, and I kind of feel bad for it, but... I wouldn't want anybody to ever experience anything negative. So when I go into readings and I see these difficulties, I'm like, no, no, don't do this to yourself. Change it now. Change it now. Because you deserve to be happy, right? In terms of love, getting to know each other and flirt. When it comes to getting to know the other person, it's so important. Before you pass any judgments on anybody, you need to get to know them and they need to be able to know you as well. But it creates this lighthearted energy where it's okay to start flirting with them, which is what I like to see. And this is nice for singles. For those of you who are in a relationship, chemistry is beautiful to see. That chemistry that you have with your partner, I feel like is what's going to help you get out of these emotional difficulties and start finding happiness. Happiness within the home and happiness with your partner. And it may be a fire sign for some of you. But... I think the big thing this week is that you can't allow yourself to stay stuck in anything, whether it's the past or feeling like nothing is happening in your life and you're just despondent. You know, you can't stay stuck. You have to start taking action this week towards your passions so that you can see happiness.